Hey, hey, hey. Welcome to Happy Birthday Hour. We're, Woo! we're, we're coming online. Woo! God, it's so bad. <laughs> coming online, welcome uh, everyone hanging out, watching, chilling. This is uh, Corona Happy Hour from the Donahue Compound. This is uh, Casey's hour because it's his birthday, <laughs> so today is, uh, is all about Casey. We're calling this episode seven, One Foot in the Grave. Is it six? It's a seven. No, six. No way. It's episode it's, it's seven. Six. I'm going with seven. What do you think, Jimmy Nick? Six or seven? <laughs> it is now. It's six slash seven. We'll go with that. I've had so much fun. It seems like we've only done ten. I'm going to play some old stuff. There's a lot of cover songs tonight that uh, led me down this path that I'm at. And uh, we were lucky enough to be in... Uh, Steamboat this year it was actually our 10th year in Steamboat. We'd missed a couple of them traveling and back and forth, but uh, last year was our 10th year to be in Steamboat. Uh, and the tribute artist uh, was my friend Cody Canada, and they uh, asked me to play a song, and I got to pick. I picked this one, and uh, it's kind of a rock and roll song. We're going to do it with an acoustic and a... Uh, and a fiddle. And a fiddle. It goes like this, old school. Here we go... Two more miles, this stuff of cramps my style Broke down on the side of the road A thousand flies are buzzing I'm sitting spitting and cussing I'm sitting on top of my load And if I ever get out of this hole If I ever get down the road I got 42 miles to go Five thirty in the evening, mechanic phone ringing. Is he ever gonna fix our ride? And you know that I ain't bitching, but bad news is all I'm getting. I just need a little look on my side. And if I ever get out of this hole, if I ever get down the road, I got forty-two miles to go. Siren screaming, still I'm not believing that much goes on in this town. You know, if I had my chance, I'd do a chicken dance after I watched it burn to the ground. And if I ever get out of this home, if I ever get down the road, I got 42 miles to go. We still live? TV man doing it. <laughs> man. You know, it's, uh, I'm trying to think the only night that didn't mess up was uh, this night and then the night that I completely ruined the first song. So thanks for, thanks for that. So I'm, uh, I'm now old. It's a real thing. I'm still doing it, though. All right? That right, Jimmy Nick? I'm going to play some old stuff. I actually, uh, my buddy Andy Pate wrote this song, and I, uh, I recorded it. Here we go. 
and I don't know why we never put it out, but uh, I should have. This is, uh, we'll send this out to Big Kenny. He loves this. This is an old school song right here. She was a beauty queen, she won a ride for a rock and roll magazine And she broke my heart And she sat on the side of my bed and I didn't hear a single word she said As I, well, I strum this guitar And I sang, Carrie Michelle, can you hear me calling you? You're not a ram Carrie Michelle My tears have fallen down Falling down They're falling down Not a single day goes by that I don't stop Question why I couldn't keep you here with me Cause you were a restless child and I was a little bit wild And I, I couldn't make you see That you're my Carrie Michelle Can you hear me calling you? You're not around Carrie Michelle My tears are falling down Falling down They're falling down Now I'm sitting in this empty barn and I'm lucky that I got these scars that remind me of you. And I hear that you're having fun and that you, you might have even found someone, but I pray it ain't true. Cause you're my Carrie Michelle, can you hear me calling? You're not a ram Carrie Michelle My tears have fallen down Fallen down Cause you're my Carrie Michelle Can you hear me calling you But you're not a ram Michelle? Old school. Andy Pate. Check him out. Oh, Andy Pate, my buddy. He's got a coffee company in Fort Worth, Texas. Named Very good coffee. Pops Coffee. If you like coffee, you're into it. Look him up on Instagram and buy Very some good. coffee. We have a message for you, Casey. Oh. Super. From one of your little friends, Kevin Fowler. Oh, boy. <laughs> a little birthday message. And if you're on Instagram, you'll have to go over to Facebook to see all the extra footage we have that you can't see on Instagram because like it's me and not Kevin like are the same age this year. <laughs> this year? Gary, do it in G, wait. For Casey Donahue on his birthday, on his, I bet he's about 40 something. Early 40s. We'll round down. But he 40s. sure looks good. Mm. <laughs> he's very handsome. <laughs> he's way more handsome than I am. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Casey. Look at that. The one and only Kevin Fowler. K. 
Kevin Fowler. See, done a I Kevin told you Fowler. you had a friend. I got one friend. Should have done a Kevin Fowler song tonight. Hey, what this is that? a funny text. All right. <laughs> Hold on, let me find it again. It said, why is Chris Colston competing and doing his live stream right now? He should be watching and learning from KC. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I got a shout out to happy 21st birthday to Caden Betty. He's, oh, no, his birthday was on the 21st, same as mine. He's 12, Caden Betty. Good day to be born, all right? It's a good day to be alive. <laughs> Well, if you went to uh, Cabo last year, I made Stoney sing this song and got up and sang it with him because this is uh, one of my favorite songs. And I asked him about it, and uh, he told me he doesn't remember writing it at all. Him and Bolin wrote this song, and he uh, said he woke up, and I think the notes were on the table, and they just realized that they'd wrote a song sometime that night, and this is it. And I know Bolin's got a version, but uh, I'll give Stoney credit for this, and we'll do a Bolin later. How about that? Well, I guess you just kept me around Just to run him off Yeah, but he came crawling back one day So you told me to get lost And tell me what gave you the right To give the push and shove And just another victim claimed by you And your dirty fighting love Yeah, she did it with a straight face She didn't even bat an eye wasn't even looking So do you ever wonder why you end up with nothing Yeah, when God knows that you try You run out of cigarettes And even Rose has got to die Well, I guess you think you're pretty smart To work it to your cause Yeah, but me, I'm just a clown out here Well, I'm a clown without applause You reach for your cold heart side, huh? You looked up and you shot a dove and Just another victim claimed by you And your dirty fat and low Yeah, she did it with a straight face she didn't even bat an eye, she wasn't even looking And do you ever wonder why you end up with nothing? Yeah, when God knows that you try You run out of cigarettes And even Rose has got to die I know you've done the same old stuff before I'm sure you'll do it again Yeah, but this time will be the last time, baby You'll wonder where I've been You'll be the one remembering Remembering the way it was Just wishing to God you could change your ways And your dirty fine love Yeah, she did it with a straight face She didn't even bat an eye I wasn't even looking So do you ever wonder why you end up with nothing? And yeah, when God knows that you try You're running out of cigarettes And even Rose has got to die You're running out of cigarettes And even Rose has got to die There you go. We have a good question, and I feel like I already know the answer to this, but since it's your birthday and the question is directed to you, I'm going to let you answer it. Your favorite birthday memory? <laughs> you feel like you know the answer? Well, yeah, because I throw you like the greatest party of all time. I, I was going to say, you I know. I mean, I threw you several, but. 
<laughs> well, let's celebrate Melinda. Uh, no, Melinda threw me an epic. It'd be a party. An epic uh, surprise birthday three years ago when I uh, hit a milestone age, sweet 40. And uh, I had no idea, completely no idea. I walked into about 300 people. Uh, and I was late. I was trying to, I was playing golf and I just kept playing golf. I think we're going to win this tournament. We're not leaving. And our friends go, no, we're leaving. We got to go now. We meet them. And uh, now looking back, it was pretty amazing. But uh, I had seriously no idea. So What about was, your intro uh, song? Intro song. When you uh, came in. I don't even remember what it was. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> you got to be careful here. It's a family show. Oh. Family show. Don't forget, you can uh, text in questions, 817-360-6919. If you want to holler at us, Melinda's running the phone. Check in. also want to make sure I uh, throw it out there. Uh, you know, we're not taking any money for this. So if you get a chance and you want to make a donation, make a donation to your local food bank. Uh, I know we had somebody ride in today from Ohio, right? Oh, our friend. Yeah. Sasquatch. Sasquatch. No, that, is his name Sasquatch? Hold on, let me find him. Let me find my little phone, pal. The Squatch. Yep. Oh, Squatchy. So the Squatch says that we inspired him to donate 2,000 pounds of ground pork to the local food pantry in Northwest Ohio. That's awesome. Thank you, Squatch. And he also sent a picture. If you've been watching every week, you know he's like this. He sends funny messages. But he finally sent a picture, so now we have a visual. Now we know. Squatchy. We, did, we took our friendship to the next level. A yeah. friendship. A squatchy. <laughs> a friendship. Here's a good question. Your favorite Red Dirt song of all time. Of all time. Golly, that's hard. Uh. No, we're not interrupting programming for the NFL draft. You can just rewatch it. Favorite song. Golly, there's so many. I mean... Well, just throw one out there. I mean, I mean, I'm gonna play maybe one of them here in a little bit. Uh, you can pick so many songs from Robert Earl King. You can pick some Pat Green songs. Uh, Cross Canadian Ragweed, Alabama is still a still a banger. Uh, I don't know if I have a favorite. Uh, you know, the reason I started listening, that "Road Goes On Forever" and "The Party Never Ends" was kind of a song that pulled me this direction. So. Uh, We'll go with that for lack of uh, wanting to hurt anybody else's feelings, I guess. I don't know. It could be an Abbott song. Let me think. I'll have to scroll through my Abbott catalog and see. There's one of those that may jump out at me, too, though. Right? Well, this whole thing's had me digging through my phone and looking back in songs, and I've played several songs uh, that I've written here recently. And, uh, Are you, you going to play your new song Hoping right to record. Now? That's what I was thinking. I'll play. So I found this song, and I was listening to it, and I... Showed Melinda, I'm like, you know, I wrote this song before the last record, he's and, act, I, he, and I forgot about it. He's acting like he found a song. He he wrote a banger, and he didn't tell anybody. <laughs> then he forgot about it and rediscovered it today. Yeah, I just found it, so I'll try not to mess it up. This Y'all is are going to love it. Melinda thinks we should record this as fast as we can. But, uh, this is called uh, Starts in a Bar. I wrote this with uh, my buddy Tim Nichols. Here we go. Starts in a bar. And a band plays a song And you buy her a drink And you both start singing along You ask her to dance And you hit the floor and she's got moves That a cowboy can't ignore And all of a sudden you're both buzzing Like the neon on the wall Ripping shots of whiskey She ain't slowing down at all And you can't fall in love forever You can't fall for just one night You get tangled up with a wild one You better hold on tight Cause she'll rock you back to her place And lay you down till you see stars I don't know where it ends But it starts in a bar On a night like this with boots and jeans and angel wings And hell, she's hard to miss And she's lipstick on a bottle The kind we're fighting for She said, take you home all night long She'll leave you 
one more And all of a sudden you're both buzzing like the neon on the wall Ripping shots of whiskey and she ain't slowing down at all And you can fall in love forever, you can fall for just one night If you get tangled up with a wild one, you better hold on tight Cause she'll rock you back to her place and lay you down till you see a star And I don't know where it ends, but it starts in a barn All of a sudden you're both buzzing like the neon on the wall Ripping shots of whiskey, she ain't slowing down at all And you can't fall in love forever, you can't fall for just one night If you get tangled up with the wild one, you better hold on tight Cause she'll rock you back to her place and lay you down till you see stars I don't know where it ends Stars in a bar, in a bar. In a bar. We have another birthday message from another one of your friends. See, now you have two friends. Two friends. Your Those bestest friends. friend, Josh Abbott, bestest ah. of besties. Johnson County, Stockyards. My best friend Casey, he's got a good life. He's a pretty sharp guy, he made his manager his wife. And they got two kids, but they all look like him. Poor kids. He ain't a tractor tech, he's a redneck, but he's getting drunk again. I'm down the bed trying to remember all those crazy nights that we had and I'm empty I'm not sad I'm talking about the good times drinking down the bed happy birthday buddy that was great that's pretty amazing awesome, awesome. we love Abbott okay oh, Josh. time out one second Emily Huffman. This is not very nice. Her husband is not letting her buy Casey Donahue merchandise. Not very nice at all. You know and look at this. Got a new hat. Lost my brother's goat Lost hat. Lost my brother's goat hat. Yes, we did. Thing. We did lose him. Yeah. Well, you know, I've seen some divorce parties during this corona party. The last couple of weeks. We had a divorce party last week on the show. So I'm but just saying. <laughs> put your foot down. Buy some merchandise. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. Something special tonight since it's Casey D's birthday. Let me show y'all these red bandanas, which will be awesome, you know, right now during the virus because you Your can wear it <laughs> around and use it as your mask for protection. Anyways, we have a bunch of these to give away for free. Hold on, let me get the... Logo, right? There we go. To blow your nose. So we have 200 of these. So the first 200 orders over $50 tonight get to free KCD birthday bandana, and he's going to sign it. Yeah, there you go. You can uh, rob banks, wipe your mouth, fast. blow your nose, you should feel, you clean can, up your kids. I think you could even make a shirt out of it. Maybe. No. Depends, maybe. The material's super soft. You could lay in it, get rub it on you, whatever. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you want to do. Let's play music. Or you want to do your? Uh, you want to go to the commercial here? What commercial? Oh, I thought we were, I thought we were going to breaking news. Oh, we do new, have an an additional guest to the Corona Happy Hour. Do you want to do that now? No, we're gonna wait let's a little do, bit. She's not ready. More. She's not ready. Why don't you play another song? 
help I'm you? I'm playing a bunch of songs that I wrote the last, or I didn't write, sorry. I started out <laughs> playing these songs when I was uh, starting out 18 years ago. Ooh, why don't you do a sing-along? Corpus Christi Bay. That's a good one. I have it. I'm already going. Oh, that's the one you were going to do? See? Great minds No, think it's not. Oh. <laughs> This is an old song. I know uh, Bolin and Cody wrote this song together, and I still think it's a uh, it's a classic, and it's uh, is this it's, a, it's a heater. Yeah, Proud so soul? we'll do this. Right. Got drunk by myself last night And this is the way to make things right I just didn't have anything better to do And the dog was asleep on the living room rug And I watched a show about crime and drugs I punished a bottle of bourbon until it was through I don't care that I can't sleep Cause I'd just as soon stay up all week I might get some things done while others dream The heat up broke and the room got cold To my knees and ankles say I'm getting older The phone finally rang but it wasn't for me If everyone was together I guess no one would be alone a lot of trade-offs in the end Somewhere in the fields of heaven The proud souls laugh and love together Somewhere between passion and losing friends Sleep finally came, but I woke up alone And my head was next to the telephone I gave the sun a cussing as I pulled the shades and One thing that seems always true Is when I'm hung over the sky's blue A rough night for me will make a hell of a day I believe in ghost and democracy And that each man should leave his legacy Be that man great or be him small But I don't believe in everything Like a designated hitter or a diamond ring To make love last forever for one and all Cause if everyone was together I guess no one would be alone Life's a lot of trade-offs in the end Somewhere in the fields of heaven The proud souls laugh and love together Somewhere between passion and losing friends Somewhere between passion and losing We got There's one, an old one. Are you going to do something else? No. Okay, I'm going to do some fish. We got some shout outs. Okay, we have several birthdays today. We have Avery, who's turning 15, and this is their very first Casey show they're watching from home. Yeah. Bryce Hodge, this is his seventh birthday from Indian Land, South Carolina. Brian Pruitt, maybe, 40th birthday. Jack Nelson, it's his birthday, and Brian and his daughter, Andy, it's their birthday, too. So we're having a lot of birthday parties tonight. Super. Lots of excitement. <laughs> There's, oh, time out. Oh. There's no coupon code, because tonight you're getting a free Casey Donahue autographed <laughs> bandana. Oh, Randy Moore. Old punch him in the face, Randy Moore says uh, he wants to give a shout out to his nephew, Cody Vance, who's 16. Happy birthday. Today. Happy birthday. What kind of car did you get him, Randy? Mm -hmm. 
Hey, Rick, get me a beer when you get a chance, man. Here's a good question if you want one. Okay. From Emily Nolan. If Casey could perform with one singer, dead or alive, who would it be? Also, her birthday's tomorrow. <laughs> Happy uh, birthday. It's easy. Elvis Presley. <laughs> Left my home in Norfolk, Virginia, California's on my mind. Straddled that greyhound and rode him in the rolling and all across Carolina. Oh, whoever's going Had to the ranch this weekend wants Randy Moore to come. <laughs> What's his fee? I was on that midnight flyer out of Birmingham, smoking a new Orleans. Somebody help me get out of Louisiana. The King, it's easy. You want to hang out with one person? It's Elvis Presley, and there's not even... Uh... That's it. Top of the food chain. What's the story with the guitar hanging behind Melinda? Well, that guitar is got Charlie Pride's autograph on it. I mean, it's got a lot of people's autograph on it. Pickin for Primies, I think. Yep, it's from Pickin' for Preemies, did I say 2008? I was never that old. <laughs> God, wait, 2008? It's got some banger autographs on it. But it's mine. Mainly Charlie Pride. Mm -hmm. It's my buddy. You may not know this one time. Probably around that same time, 2008, I did a uh, TV commercial for the Fort Worth Cats minor league baseball team with Charlie Pride. All day long, we're out there shooting this video. We're in Fort Worth, and producers are out there, and directors, and they're running all this stuff. And I was, I mean, I was just trying to stay out of the way and just do whatever they told me. And we, we did it like twice. Like somebody hit a ball from the cat field, and we were in downtown Fort Worth, and Charlie Pride was going to catch it and then whip it out there. And I was like, Fort Worth Cats. And so we did it, and, uh, once and then like they wanted to do it again i could see charlie was already upset that we were doing this the second time and so we do it again the second time and he's like fort worth cats and the guy wants to do it again he goes i don't know what you want to do that's the take that's it doesn't get any better than that that's how good it gets <laughs> and then like he left and i'm like all right see you later. <laughs> it was over done yeah we were done two takes i don't know what you want me to do it don't get any better than that that's how good it is and i thought man that's Hey, and you didn't tell your Yeti story last week, your Yeti attempting, attempted theft on your Yeti. Was that in Wichita Falls? Yeah. What was that bar called? Uh, whatever. Well, it's changed names a few times. No, we were, we were in Wichita Falls. Me and Steve went to the ranch that day and then drove to the show, and we got there late, and he has a Yeti that was uh, chained in the back of the flatbed. And, uh, yeah, so we're on the bus getting ready to play and he parked right across from the bus and we come out to about walk in and I walked off first and there was a truck pulled up beside there and they were cutting that chain and still in Steve's Yeti and so I screamed on the bus they're still in the Yeti and so here we come running and Steve's on a dead sprint on the guy <laughs> panicked at the truck and ran around to the back of the truck and uh Steve and there was a whole truck full of people and I didn't know how many people were in there so I thought this is about to get western and uh Steve ran by the front of the truck, and the, and the car, the window was down. Well, he just reached in and turned and grabbed the keys and then had the keys in his pocket to their truck. So it was pretty much game over after that. Like, what are you going to do? He's got the keys of the truck. Like, they could have taken off, but he pulled the keys, and uh, no. And then we played a show. It may have been the same night we lost our brother's goat. <laughs> Very busy night. Oh, we have another birthday. Hold on. To Melissa Cole. From Rhonda. It says, this happy, these happy hours you're doing has bumped you to her number one artist. Hey! <laughs> Winning. You hear that, Wade Bowen? Right past you. <laughs> <laughs> she still listens to your uh, top 40, though, to put her to sleep. Want to do another song and then do the, go to a break? Well, um, we can do another song, but we have uh, something special for you planned. Uh, okay. Do one more song and then we'll do your special slideshow that someone put together for you. <laughs> Probably me. Okay. okay. Birthday surprises. Linda told me I could replay some songs on my birthday and ones that I like. And I, this is maybe one of my favorite songs I wrote. I don't know. Maybe it felt like it got lost in the, in the shuffle and I should have. Uh, maybe I should play it more at live shows. But I played this a couple weeks ago, but uh, still get some requests. We'll do it again, right? Yeah. 
I keep staring down this highway You'd still be here if I had it my way The pages of our fairy tale are torn Life got my pride to keep me warm And now this room feels like a tomb On the dark side of the moon I know you're in his arms again I should have begged you to stay And never let you walk away I should have told you that my heart's always been yours So let these empty memories burn Because you have not returned You know regrets, they are the hardest lessons learned I often wonder if I ever cross your mind I know you're gone but my heart still thinks at this time and There's no life left in this place we call a home The hardest part of waking up is knowing I'm alone And that this room feels like a tomb On the dark side of the moon I know you're in his arms again I should have begged you to stay And never let you walk away I should have told you that my heart's always been yours So let these empty memories burn Because you have not returned you know regrets, they are the hardest lessons learned And I'll be waiting and if you need me Because my heart can't say goodbye Yeah This room feels like a tomb On the dark side of the moon and I know you're in his arms again I wish I would have begged you to stay But I just let you walk away You know you'll always have my heart You know you'll always have my heart So let these empty memories burn Because you have not returned You know regrets, they are the hardest lessons learned You know regrets, they are the hardest lessons learned Okay, are we ready for the KCD slideshow? This is for everyone to see what life is like with <laughs> KCD.
Casey, what's up? It's your little buddy, Randy. Happy birthday, brother. Um, Melinda wanted me to say something funny, but you're the funniest guy that I know. And if I did say something funny, uh, you would just kill me. So with whatever you said funnier. But happy birthday. Wish I was there to uh, hold my beer and watch you celebrate. See you soon, bud. Hey, y'all. Casey Donahue here. I figured for my birthday that I'd send you all a little bit of uh, love today and also tell you uh, some words of wisdom from Casey Donahue. Okay? So I'm coming to you, showing you the real Casey Donahue. Here's some words that I like to live by that have kept me a badass for many, many years. Number one, you can't be rich unless you act rich. So act rich all the time. Number two, what Melinda don't know won't hurt her. Number three, always carry a firearm if you can, but it's, you know what I'm saying. Number four, uh, if you listen to Wade Bowen, he's guaranteed to make you cry or fall asleep. It's a guarantee. And number five, or are we on six? Five or six, always end everything in your life with what cowboys do. That's how you survive. That's how you have great birthdays like I had today. So I want to tell you all a happy birthday to me. Appreciate it. What cowboys do. Well, there's that. It's an awesome life right there. <laughs> awesome life. Life's a party with KCD. <laughs> 20 years wow. of it. Well, there's that. That's, uh, that's a thing. So. <laughs> It's a real thing, so. This is a, a song for one of my songwriting heroes right here. We used to play this when we first started the band, so uh, bear with me. I woke the rigs for three to midnight On the Corpus Christi Bay I get off and drink till daylight Sleep the morning away Had a plan to take my wages and Leave the rigs behind for good But the life it is contagious And it gets down in your blood I lived in Corpus with my brother we were always on the run We were bad for one another We were good at having fun We got stoned along the seawall We got drunk and rolled a car We knew the girls at every dance hall And had a tab at every bar if I can live my life all over, it wouldn't matter anyway. Cause I never could stay sober on the Corpus Christi Bay. My brother had a wife and family, you know, he gave him a good home. But his wife thought we were crazy. One day we found her gone We threw her clothes into the car trunk Her photographs, her rosary We went to the pier and got drunk And threw it all into the sea If I could live my life all over It wouldn't matter anyway Cause I never could stay sober on the Corpus Christi Bay. Now my brother lives in Houston. He's married for the second time. Got a good job with the union And it's keeping him in line 
came to Corpus just this weekend And it was good to see him here He said he finally gave up drinking And then he ordered me a beer If I could live my life all over It wouldn't matter anyway Cause I never could stay sober Corpus Christi Bay If I could live my life all over It wouldn't matter anyway Cause I never could stay sober On the Corpus Christi Bay And I never could stay sober On the Corpus Christi Bay forgot about that one. Yeah. Only but a goodie. Okay. We got a shout out to Chris Reinhardt and the USS Nimitz. All those sailors aboard. Nice. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for, thank you for your service. More importantly, show them your Lost Your Brother's goat hat. Lost My Brother's goat hat. The best part of the hat is, is it on this side? Yes. The little goat on the side. Casey Donahue, Lost My Brother's right. goat. It's a real thing. So I think Larry Joe Taylor should have been tonight, actually. I know. So I wore what I would have worn Larry Joe Taylor, I wore it tonight. Took my T-shirt, made it into a tank top because it's 85 in Texas. Yep. Calvin said quit flexing on TV. I know. Casey's getting buff. He's already so dreamy. Now he's getting muscles. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. I got a text that said, uh, remind all the people bitching about your plastic straws that they're wearing plastic gloves. So. There you go. There you go. Really brings it into perspective, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, we have a special guest. Oh, we want to go live to the... We're going to we go breaking live. News? We have breaking news. Breaking news. Let's go live. Hi, this is Candy Cat coming to you live from Corona Happy Hour with your hate mail update right here live at IDGAF Studios. For our first hate mail submission, this comes from a Mr. J.M. whose panties are all wadded up. He writes, Melinda is drunk. She needs a quiet pill. It's getting worse every week, and the straw is not helping. Hmm. I don't know who Melinda is, but she sounds very nasty. Our next submission comes from a female, Mrs. K. Mrs. K writes, maybe dot, 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 no offense, Melinda should not participate in happy hour. She just wants to tell Casey's stories for him. She is really killing the live feed. Hmm, very interesting perspective, Mrs. K. And for our last dose of daily hate, this is from a Mr. A. Mr. A writes, Hi, is there a reason Melinda has decided to join the Casey Donahue band? I mean, there's not much difference from what I normally see at a CDB show, a drunk, annoying, overdressed female. Well, Mr. A, I don't know about you, but Candy Cat loves a drunk, overdressed female. This just in, more breaking news. It seems that bars and venues are still closed, but on the bright side, the number of people falling asleep to Wade Bowen songs is down. I guess the sun does shine on a dreamer. And that is your weekly dose of daily hate. Coming at you live, Candy Cat here at IDGAF Studios. See you next week. I don't even. <laughs> she might come to the after party. I need a copy of that. <laughs> if she's invited. Yeah, it's, wow. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, <laughs> there's that. Okay, breaking news. Now we have a news desk. 
the Donahue compound and uh, our own the special most important news stories of the day on the beat reporter. So I'm sure this is a thing. Maybe next week <laughs> hit the news desk again and uh, oh, go through this, it. Right? This little nice text messenger just said that he thinks the Melinda's the star and plays a tambourine like no other. It's a fact. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> Some of these messages I cannot read out loud. <laughs> Here's an old song. I don't, I don't know why we never play this. I love it. It's a country song right here. This is, I don't know, a lifetime ago. And, uh, probably got lost on a record somewhere, but I love this song. Here we go. Told me not to call her, so I told her that I would. Tried my best to forget her, but I couldn't. I'm not strong enough to watch her walk away. Standing in the middle of the street, broken hearted. Try to wrap my mind around the reasons why we've parted. I'm not strong enough. To watch her walk away and I'm not strong enough To make her stay Well I should have saw the signs That were pointing in that direction Looking in her eyes I can see there's no fiction Everyone kept saying that it's never gonna last I'm the only one still living in the past I'm walking in a circle while I'm feeling so confused I'm the one to blame, she's the one who got used I'm not strong enough Watch her walk away Twist it off and turn out past the point of no return Standing at the bottom looking for a light still burning I'm not strong enough To watch her walk away but I'm not strong enough To make her stay well, I should have saw the signs that were pointing that direction Looking in her eyes, I can see there's no fiction Everyone keeps saying that it's never gonna last I'm the only one still living in the past Well, I should have saw the signs that were pointing that direction Looking in her eyes, I can see there's no fiction Everyone kept saying that it's never gonna last I'm the only one still living in the past how I ended that song, but we're going to do it like that. <laughs> that was good enough. Uh, the one I knew I wouldn't remember. Killing it. How we Another doing? one down. On time. Yeah. Another one bites the dust. Oh, you know what? We got a request for you to do um, nope. Dust on the Bottle, and oh, we didn't that's think... from Kenny. Oh. <laughs> well, Kenny, I'm like, well, what time out? He used to do that, I feel like. You know that. I've never done that. Might be. Yes, you have. A little dust on the bottle. I forgot when you were in the Dirty South Band and you did 80% covers. Forgot about that. That's what I've been doing all night long, all these old songs. I was trying to remember them all. Oh, I know. 
you, what were you gonna do next? Uh, I was gonna do a. I mean, other than me later, but. The straw, the straw. I gotta quit it. Oh my gosh. This guy's why I started playing music. Oh, hey, they want to know if you have a tramp stamp. Casey doesn't have any tattoos, not even one. No tats. Nope. Letting Jimmy. Totally clean. No lines, scars, tats, brandings. <laughs> well, if I had me a million, oh, this is a, this is build a you a mansion hundred miles from nowhere. Not a girl can need run around in the hallway. Dance in the backyard We ain't got no neighbors Ain't no one to see If I had me a speed plane I'd fly across the land Settle some little border town Drink some margaritas Dance some mariachi Put you on my speed plane and I, I bring you back home. And if I had me a steamboat, sail across the ocean blue. Dockin' some little port of cow We would have a fine time Swiss cheese and French wine Put you on my steamboat And I, I bring you back home Yeah, but I ain't got a million And they ain't got no speed plane And they ain't got no boat upon the sea And all I got are these two strong arms I can hold you so tightly So baby, won't, won't you please Come back home to me Home to me. I wasn't ready for you to play that one. I had a plan for that one. I was going to set the mood. I was going to get closer to you so you could look into my eyes as you sing it, since it's one of my favorite Pat Green songs ever. Well, you screwed all that up. Thanks a lot. Okay. <laughs> I do love me some Pat Green And didn't even know who Pat Green was Until I started dating Casey D And introduced me to him So thank you for that Oh really Chris Holston says happy birthday That he can Whoop you in bags I don't know what that means. Cornhole. Cornhole. $100. You can enter. You can enter. Take some requests. I'm thinking of what I want to play. Oh, man. You're going to... Oh, I know. We have a lot of requests for... Dun, 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 dun. Double wide dream. I messed this up last week. We played... Uh, I was going to play Double Wide Dream, and then I started singing uh, Small Town Love. 
Uh, we had now a lot got, of little bloopers last week. Now I'm panicking right now, thinking the only the thing I can think of is small town love. What's the first words of Double Wide Dreams? Dun. <laughs> uh, another chorus. <laughs> huh? I was spoken for. I got a, there. See, he is paying attention, yeah. Zach. All I can think of was Woo! Buckle Bunny and the top. Do you want right? to sing? You want to join the, the little happy hour? You got a personality in there we don't know about? <laughs> Sitting there in your little hoodie. And I'm spoken for, I got a ball and chain. I even gave her my last name, she's my anchor. She takes the wind out of my sails. Can't move my trailer cause she's so the wheel. She's my plus one. You can do the math now. Top or bottom, there's no better half. And I love that pretty little country girl. And she's a rock in this redneck's world. She's a welcome hat to my home, sweet home. She takes me as I am, loves me like she wants to. Twists my heart up just like a corkscrew. She makes me smile. Make her scream Just a couple of kids Living the double wide dream She likes to cuss and fight And she can drink all night And she can roll one up till I'm feeling right She drives a truck it's got swampers and rims and an alpine pumping through kicker tins. Dead snuff that she don't spit. And she never on the bra and her shirts don't fit. And I love that pretty little country girl. She's a dragon just redneck's world. She's a welcome man to my home, sweet home. Takes me as I am, loves me like she wants to. Twists my heart up just like a coke scoochie. Makes me smile to make her scream. We're just a couple of kids living the double wide dream. Guns and dirt roads, cowboy boots, and old blue jeans. She ain't no uptown pussy. She's my down home trailer queen. Name Melinda. And I love that pretty little country girl. She's a track in this redneck's world. She's a welcome man to my home, sweet home. And I love that pretty little country girl. She's a dragon in this redneck's world. She's a welcome man to my home, sweet home. Takes me as I am, loves me like she wants to. Twists my heart up just like a coke screw. She makes me smile, make her scream. Just a couple of kids living the double wide dream. Double wide dream. We got double wide dreams. Yeah. Hold on, I got a shout out. I gotta remember the words one day, huh? Hey, what about me knowing all the words to everything every week? Have y'all noticed? This is session set six that I have had zero lyric sheets. This is not lyric sheets. These are my notes on shoutouts. So there's that. Shout out to Mike. I think it's Archuleta from Durango, Colorado. Must be your skin. Okay. I'm singing here. Must be for real. Now I can Beavis. Feel. Did Beavis sell you a truck? I didn't mind. It's not your kind. Happy anniversary to Beavis kind. and Amanda. I mean, it does Why? say Beavis. Everything <laughs> away. Everything strange. Now, now you're, you're here. here. Now, now you're away. 
<laughs> needed you bad. You bruised my face. Could love you more. You got a beautiful taste. Don't let the days go by. Glycerine. Rock Fest 1997. Yeah. <laughs> I was there with Gavin. There's some kids at home watching that going, what's going on? <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, have you really lived the double wide dream? We're living the double wide dream. We don't even have a job right now. <laughs> We're not these kids. Well, maybe. Are you going to go in to hang with us? Now, maybe. Did I mean to treat you bad? bad. But, but I, I did, did anyway. anyway. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Almost forgot. Clayton, I think your grandma messaged me, and Clayton's birthday's tomorrow. She double birthday party. That means, okay, you know what it means when there's a double party? That means you got to double fist it during the party, because for two. Can you double fist, Clayton? I'll, I'll have to have another beer. <laughs> I'm going to get you another one. Maybe we're missing out on Clayton. Maybe he's a drinking pro. That's why he didn't talk very much. Two hands. <laughs> Can't fiddle with two hands. Double, double, double for everyone. My grandma misses. I don't. We've lost. I have lost control. I don't know who it was. I just work here. <laughs> no, you don't have a job. Jobless. Jobless. At the mercy of Melinda, giving me a paycheck. I do. He gets a bonus. Some, sometimes he gets bonuses. Sometimes. She, write, she makes me write songs all day long in a dark room. One candle. <laughs> you Bangers do? you forget you wrote. That's right. You're going to get disciplined on that one. In a barn. Serious discipline coming on that. Um, I'm getting all kinds of texts. People love your breaking, the breaking news desk. Oh, it's their favorite they like bar. candy? I love this song right here. We used to play it. It's a band from Dallas. Called Carrie O. Pierce? Carrie? Jack O. Pierce. Oh, Jack O. Pierce, sorry. But Carrie Pierce does do some <laughs> shows alone. There's a Carrie Pierce and a Jack O. Pierce? Are they related? He's the uh, Pierce of Jack O. Pierce. It's kind of like Eli Young. It's the straw again. There's not an Eli Young guy. There's just, there's two, right? We used to play this back in the day. Carrie, if you're watching, let's write a song. Maybe I should record this and put it on our next record too. Right? This is a couple dance, skate dance. Six o'clock now in the morning. As I wait. For my train to come Take me somewhere just outside of Boston As I run to find the other sun Now I'm leaving more behind Than I care to talk about Just more pain than this heart and head's youth In this big world I was spinning All that I thought I was winning Well I never thought, I never thought I'd lose this great force that takes me to the ferry Went to cross winds and water so unchanged And I'm on this ship, my life just seems so very Small in comparison to everything around 
But there's this girl over there, she's got mahogany hair and a rice of sweet amethyst. And I bow where she curtsies and doesn't look like she's gonna hurt me, so I decide to add her to my list. She says, she says, won't you stay on the venue for the summer? Or won't you stay on the venue for the year? We'll buy a little house down there in Oak Bluff And our children is all that we'll hear Seems now that I should be going as that one day turned into five or six And although I'm loving all these beautiful things she's showing I back up and I'm enveloped by the mist But there's this girl over there She's got mahogany hair And her eyes of sweet amethyst I think that maybe it would be better If I just wrote her a letter But instead she grabs me and we kiss She says She says Won't you stay on the venue for the summer Won't you stay on the venue for the year We'll find a little house down there in Old Bluff And our children Is all that we'll miss So is it Jack O. Pierce or Carrie Pierce? I'm so confused. Jack O. Pierce. The band's called Jack O. Pierce, but the his band name's Carrie Pierce. Jack O. Pierce. Carrie Pierce wrote the song. Maybe they both wrote it. I don't want to. Mm, I don't know. I want to throw the other guy under the bus, but okay, hey, we have a shout out, know. Lynette Burton. Lynette. This is your shout out. I don't know who it's from. They didn't put their name. <laughs> what else we got? Oh, we're in several text messages, which this is interesting for Crash, which we didn't practice. I don't know. He may not know how to play this one, but. Yeah, we'll do it next week. God, I forgot. Listen, I'm telling you, I will do next week. I will do that got the girl. All there is to it <laughs> next week. <laughs> He's going to learn, relearn it. He forgot it. It's happening. That got the girl next week. Stay tuned. Okay, we have another birthday. McKinley. Episode seven slash eight. Time out. McKinley, who is not 19. Happy birthday, McKinley. She's watching. All right, McKinley. Thanks for being here. Hanging out with us. What do you think? Oh, somebody's making five. Oh, somebody will make a $500 donation to the Tarrant County Food Bank if you can play ACDC. I don't know if Casey was an ACDC fan. Where were you, Casey? Clayton, what do you got on the fiddle for some ACDC? You got something? All right, let's go. No, I want you to like go, go, like not just like a like. Hell's bells lick. Oh, Tyler and yeah, Melody. Derailed. <laughs> Tyler and Melody Dunn. It's their also their anniversary. Hold on, I just lost them. It's their anniversary. Twenty six years. Happy anniversary. They were our big boots on the beach winners. They won a free trip last year. Lucky them. I made a really important decision that. Since we're not playing shows anymore, I'm going to go back to team roping full-time for a job. So I just need to, uh, buy, no. buy, I need to borrow a horse. <laughs> Anybody have a really good How horse I could borrow? Hit me up. I'll give him back to you about September. How are you going to pay your entry fees? I'm going to uh, also need a sponsor <laughs> to uh, Bloomer Trailers if you're watching. He needs a lot of things. I need a horse trailer. Help. Some entry money. SOS. <laughs> My friends at Top Hand Ropes already sent me some ropes, so we're good there. I just need someone Perfect. to Perfect. They give gave us, you the cheapest item that you need. I need someone to give us about a $50,000 horse. Bloomer, send me a $125,000 trailer. I got a truck that I think that'll pull it. So I don't need the biggest one, like the me medium. Medium, like 125. And then I need uh, some entry money. So whoever's down for all that, I'll tell you what. Maybe just someone that needs a partner. That's what I'm saying. And we'll if pay you, for you to be their partner. If you have a great horse and you want to pay for me to go with you to rope, 
then we can do that. That's going to be my new job the rest of the summer. So as long as it doesn't cost me any money, but I plan on winning almost every roping we go to, so I don't think it's going to be a problem. I think we'll probably be in the green I mean, you really did soon, right? miss that cow on the third round in Vegas. It's the only problem is it that's going to be a reminder. A, it was a hazing issue, I think, more <laughs> than anything. That wasn't my horse, okay? That was a... It's a rental horse, okay? So I need some time to practice oh. with it. Clayton, I swear to God, just because you're from <laughs> Cleveland, Texas. <laughs> just because you don't speak doesn't mean you get to throw things. Let's do a couple more. It came wrap up birthday okay. party. You know what? You haven't. Hold on. Let me get my list. Oh. Why are you throwing the sheets all over the floor? God, it's raining. Yeah, I'm okay, I'm not ready. Uh, drove me to the whiskey. Next week, I'm doing Thank God It's Raining. <laughs> we, can do, we can do Thank God It's Raining. People keep asking to hear it. I know we played it once, and it's one of those things. We can do it again. Uh, acoustic with a fiddle. Oh, you again. got, hold on, time out. You have some interest. Header, are you going to head or heel? I can do either. That's how good oh. I am. Versatile. Which side do you need me to do? Mm -hmm. I'm ready. A man of many talents. And this guy says, he could, can, he, can you send him a video of your writing? <laughs> you can look it up online. It's documented. Oh. YouTube, Casey Donahue, World Series Finals. It's pretty impressive, except for the third steer. <laughs> it was very impressive and, until the third. Yes, I agree. I thought he was going to win all his money he lost gambling back. <laughs> until that third cow. <laughs> It's not your fault that you're not her It's just this memory in my head You know you always want the ones that you can't have Still I tear myself apart Knowing you're the one that breaks I pray every night that you don't hear the phone and I still call her when I get drunk and she shows up and drives me home When I'm drowning in this memory It's not her Staring at a windshield headed home And praying she don't see She's not the one Who drove me to the whiskey If I wasn't scared, I'd let her go But I don't want to be alone Why can't the one that's in your arms be in your heart? And one day she'll give up on me too And I'll be this man she looks right through She'll wonder why she gives so much and why she cares I still call her when I get drunk And she shows up and drives me home When I'm drowning in this memory It's not her Staring at a windshield headed home And praying she don't see She's not the one That drove me to the whiskey I still call her when I get drunk And she shows up and drives me home When I'm drowning in this memory It's not her Staring at a windshield hit it home Praying she don't see She's not the one That drove me to the whiskey She's not the one who drove me to the whiskey. We have another one? 
another shout out to Nicole and Zana. They're tuning in in her Lost My Brother Goats tea. Y'all been going crazy on some goat stuff. Oh, here we go. Brian from Chicago just donated to the Tarrant County Food Bank. But he does want you to learn the ACDC song. And he is loving the happy hour shows. Thank you, Brian. Uh-oh. How much for roping lessons from Casey? Oh. I need the income. So, <laughs> uh, do you have a horse? That's question number one. First, you have to bring your own dummy, horse. Or we're going to start on the ground. we gotta, we got to get... We got to get your level of. Uh, I do have a rope and dummy out here, so. Uh oh, here's a couple from Kansas City, Michael and Jalisa Novak, who've been to 24 shows. Hmm. They've seen a lot. Right on, right on. I have. Uh, I've been inspired by the Lost My Brother's Goat. I bought 10 goats last week, and then I had a whole fence crew here all week long, goat fencing my entire 12 acres. There's going to be goats everywhere. That's my new... I'm bored. So we're, 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 goat, we're goat ranching. <laughs> we got goats. <laughs> we got goats everywhere. Just what we needed. Another mouth to feed. They're eating the grass. You're still feeding them that goat stuff. Sweet feed or whatever you it's call it. It's just to make them my friend. <laughs> I don't want to lose a goat. All right? Can't, we can't lose any more goats. No more goats to lose. They're eating grass. We can't afford diesel okay. for our riding mowers anymore. So we got goats. Or are we getting ready to wrap it up? Couple more. Do this if we don't, uh... I'm getting a lot of requests for our beer tastes better again. A lot yeah. of them. People love that song. Let's do this. We tried this last week. I learned it a little bit today. There's a good chance I completely messed this up. Pretty good chance. Melinda wants to go with it. I do love this record. It's one of my favorite records of all time right here. It's a record that you could put in your CD player, because assuming that was during this time frame, and ne not skip one song. Listen to the album the whole way through. Yep. I know there's a lot of uh, young kids watching right now, right? Huh? Go download. Matchbox I want you 20. To, I, want you, I want you to get that CD. Go to your parents' CD collection. Pull Matchbox 20 out of there. Me or myself. Me or and someone me, like me. Me or someone like me. Listen, some Rob Thomas. Some candles and incense burning. Pretend you're in a hotel. Or, or I mean, a, pretend you're in your uh, dorm room. In 1995. <laughs> Crying your eyes out because... Heart Somebody broke broken. your heart. Not Melinda. Wasn't me in 1995. She grabs a magazine. She packs her things and she goes. She leaves the pictures hanging out on the wall. Burns out her nose. She knows she's been here too few years to feel this old. He smokes his cigarette, he stays outside till it's gone. If anybody ever had a heart, they wouldn't be alone. She knows she's been here too few years to be gone. It will be good to go away someday yeah, But if there's nothing there to make things change If it's the same for you, I'll just hang It's the same for you, I'll just hang
trouble understands She got reasons he don't Funny how he couldn't see it all Until she grabbed up her coat she goes She's been here too few years and Take it all in stride Yeah, but still it's much too long To let her go To let her go And he always said That it would be good to go away Someday Yeah, but if there's nothing there to make things change if it's the same for you, I'm just hang. It's the same for you, I'm just hang. Almost like that. All right, how are we going to get out of here? We can do uh, Beer Tastes Better or watch All right. our story. What's what do you want to do? I'm thinking maybe Beer Tastes Better. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I dedicate this to Chris Colston. <laughs> <laughs> Could have, should have, would have been his song, but it's not. Big Kenny said he's getting drunk and taking his shirt off in his car. Not oh. quite the same as taking a shirt off nice. in the club. But <laughs> you know Big Kenny over there. You've seen him with his shirt off. Oh, my gosh. And one more thing. I don't know which episode it was, but somebody had texted and asked if you remember some of the people from very, the very, very beginning. And we forgot, forgot Jay. Jay Tidmore. We forgot to talk about Jay Tidmore. He's an old, he's an old he's G, he's an old, old G original. original. We'll do this again. This is going to be on the next record. There's no doubt about it. Uh, in my mind, this is, uh, like I said, this goes out to Chris Colston, who didn't like this song. It's called Beer Tastes Better. Beer tastes good, whiskey tastes better She said I loved her, but I've never met her I'm a modern day rebel, cause I still like Twain Still love those slow songs about mamas and trains So let's line up the whiskey till it's all gone we we'll turn this damn thing back to a beer drinking song Got so drunk in Daytona, I wound up in Minnesota Knocking back like Daniels like I've got a quota Then I washed up in Memphis and dried out in Big D Caught a bus out to Tucson, I wish diesel was free Had a day off in Denver, got so high I can't remember In Florida in Vegas, the first of December Where we burned down the tables till the dice got cold then we packed up the circus and we hit the road Because beer tastes good, whiskey tastes better She said I love the moon, I've never met her I'm a modern day rebel cause I still like Twain Still love those slow songs about mamas and trains So let's line up the whiskey till it's all gone We turn this damn thing back to a beer drinking song Come on. Sobered up in East Texas where I caught a second wind Broke a heart down in Houston at the Holiday Inn Wrecked out a bar in Nebraska, got a ride from the cops 
On our way to St. Louis, hell, the fall never stops. Then we broke down in Philly, trying to get to Big C. Still love the land of the free and the home of the brave, because beer tastes good, whiskey tastes better. She said I loved her, but I've never met her. I'm a modern day rebel, cause I still like twang. Still love those slow songs about my bones and trains. So let's line up the whiskey till it's all gone. We'll turn this damn thing back to a beer drinking song. Come on, baby. There you go. Episode six slash seven. Casey Donahue, one foot in the grave. We'll see you next week. See you then.